Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on Thursday, October the twenty fourth, twenty twenty four. And as you step into this day, once again, questions and doubts, confusion, insecurity. That might be more what is facing you in the present. Reasons to fear, reasons to get stressed out, relationships that seem to be rekindling with miscommunication and negativity, and all those kind of factors of life. So you're saying that you know prayers, invocation, and believing in the angels um, is not benefiting me in any way. And you can feel this in, also in one of your chakra points. Now I'm not going to tell you which chakra point is is. It, it's vibrating with, but that is kind of the theme of your life. That is what the one concern or the one pattern of fear that is going on re-emerging or, or asking for your attention right now. It's just saying that that is something that you have to clear and finally rise above and realize that the divine ones and the angelic forces and heaven, the heavenly forces and your spiritual team, in no way are you left without support. In fact, they will be around you even more right now if you call upon them. And just ask for your your canopy of removing fear. Yes, removal of fear to come. You might say, can't I just ask for positivity instead? Just, you know, write up. No, remove your canopy of fear. Why? Because you'll recognize it as it's getting replaced. So as you step into this day, dear one, all these thoughts and feelings, again, don't be so concerned about whether it's feeling or whether it's pattern or whether it's past life or where it's coming from or what this, why the stress is re-emerging and why it's asking for your attention. If it does not serve you in the moment, whether it's feeling or whether it's habit or whether it's responsibility or whether it's relationship, it's coming for some form of attention to be cleared finally from all directions of time and space <laughs> relationship of mind body spirit within you and with others that you connect with and your life purpose you don't have to think about that so much it'll just come because it says clear clear your vibes it's not telling you to sit there and focus on what's wrong to just clear it because it does not serve you so these huge feathers, the huge wings, purification coming towards you, first toward the left, just pouring in ever so gently, but powerfully. Because Archangel Metatron is one of the few archangels who actually walked upon the earth as a human being. So he recognizes the frailty and the troubles that you encounter every day as a person with family, with friends, with body, in whatever form it is that it comes. So these feathers, wherever your attention goes, don't worry about whether it's the first wing or it's the first feather or how it's approaching you. Just take a moment to just maybe look at it and feel what it's trying to give you, which orb of balance and purification and perfection it's asking you to pay attention to and be aware of and be blessed by. Again, don't see how it starts off, but where it ends will be beautiful. Relaxing, uplifting, answers, guidance, healing, as you need it because he has his hands together he's saying i'm right here with you with your spiritual team with the spiritual support you need with the love you need all forms of healing you need i'm right there standing there with you and pouring this light out to you in whatever form you need it and how many times you need it maybe it's just one issue that you are stuck on this day don't feel stuck take that word out of your vocabulary Say that I'm finding then the one that is the most strongest you can say that needs your attention and once healed will act like a tree that brings in then more feathers 
more wings, <laughs> more fruit, more sunlight, more happiness, more play. That's why also the laughing Buddha, divine father who helps with laughter and gaiety comes forward. Often laughter is thought of as just frivolous and just for children. Maybe that's what you need for seriousness of all kinds to be removed from your life. Clear vibes can even mean that. And Archangel Metatron's name literally is asking you to remember the meaning of his name, the throne of God. To just sit down and just relax and take a breath and recognize what that breath is telling you. Why he has his hands above his heart chakra. What is pouring out of that hand, those palms towards you? Which palm attracts your attention? Why it attracts your attention? I'm not giving you the answers today because your heart knows this. Your mind recognizes it. And both, if you need a balancing, you'll find a balance. Whether it's finances, whether it's health, whether it's home, whether it's family, your responsibilities, your daily activities, your daily life, your conversations. Because see how close the light is going towards his throat, which is also covered under beautiful orange and magenta and silver merge ray of laughter and light, communication, and peace. Choose an essence for yourself. Which color and why? Maybe you need to speak up for something. Then maybe it changes into not just magenta, but magenta and pink and red this time. What is it that you're so afraid of? Go ahead and give yourself a chance to recognize that and clear your vibes regarding a matter, regarding a situation, regarding a relationship, regarding a manifestation, regarding your home, regarding your own self, where you think you are in life right now. Make that the foremost question, really. Are you actually secure or safe? And if you're not, that's okay if you're not. That's why you have spiritual support. That's why you have spiritual healing. That's why you clear your vibes. And that's why you understand where your vibes should be. You deserve to be at peace at all times. It is not your duty to be stressed out or struggle or learn via those lessons. You can flow more gracefully with the light. Choose to do that. Again, your choices coming to totally through your heart. Because both palms are coming together. What is it that I need to do more of? To find the sense of peace, to find the sense of relaxation, to find the sense of expression, to communicate to my beloved family and friends. And family and friends might actually automatically get your attention this day, but you might not be ready to give them what you hope to give them or how you want to connect with them. And still you end up carrying some regret or guilt. Recognize that and change it. That is why the, there are wings on both sides of him. Don't think about obstacles, delays, where they are going and what is it that is it, is it manifestation on the right or is it expression on the right and the past and the foundations getting cleared on the left. Wherever it again, again it is your intuition your choice, your feeling, a sense of confidence. You are in the center of all of this as a divine child of God, receiving all of these answers as they come, as they're needed, as you seek them, and as you seek to change them, changing around what does not work for you. And if you see his robe that he's wearing, Why is it in such different, different colors and patterns? Again, to help you recognize which one is your priority at what time of day, at what activity, in what realm of your life, and how are you using it? There's a magenta ray, a peach ray, 
for the first time that has come forward, helping you just relax and lighten, lighten your load. Literally, karmic baggage might be something that comes up quite a bit this day. Just things that you have dealt with for too long that now need to be cleared finally, but you recognize them as such. No blame, no worry, no unforgiveness. Replace that. As said before, if it does not serve you, that's why he has these beautiful orbs of light creating a lovely pyramid around him. A, a unique diamond structure. You decide now how the light moves for you. Is it clockwise? Is it anti-clockwise? Is it within each orb? That's fine. Hour to hour, moment to moment, feeling to feeling, thought to thought, clarification for clarification, need for healing. You want to send it to another. You want to clear a situation. You want to clear how you communicate to another person. You want to Rise up to the kind of potential you think you carry, but you're not even tapped into it right now. Keep on looking at each one of these orbs. Of course, the central orb is the one bringing in this power and understanding and sense of connection and communication to the ultimate universal portal, the Akashic spaces. But don't be very stressed out about how to draw all of this in. Because if you see his hair also, there's a sense of balance coming there too. Because a portion of his hair seems to be lit up and a portion is dark. What reason is that part of his hair for you? Lit up, the crown, the thoughts, the consciousness related to that. And his ears also seem to be receiving clarification Balance, peace, relaxation, movement within the ears, within the sound portal, as is needed. So maybe even words that seem to be originally or when they are received or even given by you in communication as harsh, abusive. You can change that around how you speak to people, how you let people speak to you a sense of victimization, words and prayer, invocation, how you approach your responsibilities, how you think of yourself as a divine child of God, the essence you think you carry, how you describe yourself. All kinds of changes can come very peacefully. Just look into his eyes if you get lost at all about where it is that you should head or how you should be, or what you should understand, that there's just too much going on around me. So don't think about whether it's going clockwise or anti-clockwise, because there are huge wings of purification and help, acceptance and life and love guiding you. He's just saying, look at me as your friend, as your supporter, as your guide, as your canopy, I'm your friend here for, for life. You can call upon me anytime. Remember, he's an archangel. He will come to you whenever, not just this day. He's just give, making the way and method as a more, you can say, clear road of light for you this day so you don't question yourself so much. And you keep on asking. Remember, without asking, he will not step forward. But all your concerns, especially those that are gathering priority of attention right now, that's okay. Don't think that you've lost something by focusing on Archangel Michael yesterday but not understanding him today and why you're not understanding him. There's a reason behind that. Or you want to write something down or you want to call someone or you even want to bake a cake in the oven and still you're not managing to do that? Why are you not managing to do that? Why are you not allowing yourself to enjoy something with family, with friends, or something you think is frivolous? Why you think it's frivolous? It's negative. It does not work for you. It does not serve you. Negativity does not serve you. Criticism does not serve you. 
Blame does not serve you. Unforgiveness does not serve you, right? You know that. Does lack of abundance or not having money in the bank or not knowing how to bring money in the bank and starting to worry about that or the face you see in the mirror, health issues, you've gone to the same doctor and still not received answers, you still have problem, settling down and relaxing. This word relaxation seems to be something that you don't even own or understand or make friends with. You have no idea what relaxation really means. Find that out today. And one of these orbs, make it for specific purpose and reason and situation and relationship. Different elements of the relationship, you can place it in here. Different elements of your prayer. How to move forward in the prayer. How is it that you apply yourself for application, for guidance, for healing, even maybe timing? That what you do, how, how can you see signs related to the same coming to his palms? And if you see where the palms are also extended then into the sleeves, they're very gracefully then going back into the robe that he is wearing. So you're guided in every moment of this application and healing and very much feeling part of receiving the signs, of co-creating, assurance, security, your spiritual team, the method. It's all very straightforward, you can say. That's why there's straight lines coming from his throat right into the palms. Like basically giving you the coordination you need. That's why you could keep on asking him a million details related to the same. In fact, Archangel Metatron is known as one of the archangels who loves to clear the gritty details of a prayer. Write down everything may be related to the same that you don't understand, that you want help with, or the moment it keeps on re-emerging, keep on asking the same thing. It's not that the other archangels get irritated or tired. It's just that they give more maybe esoteric or expansive answers. He gives very down-to-earth answers, something that you can relate with and apply immediately. Maybe you want answers within this very day to clear bad habits whatever bad habits of mind body spirit it doesn't just have to be always physical it can be within your auric space that you're not doing enough to enhance your spirituality or you don't have a good spiritual routine and you're not happy with your prayers go ahead and discuss that with him meditation You're not able to sustain holy meditation. It's difficult for you considering that you have a family and you have responsibilities and you have a home and you don't think that you have time enough. Create. Create a routine again to be able to connect with all the spiritual beings of light as you wish to. And receive that answer then this day. And your eyes will immediately be lit with the blue indigo light of sustenance, of wisdom, of grace. Ask to fill your uh, uh, visual, you can say, space with a sense of imagery that you want to just close your eyes and be able to see, even now, whatever you hope to see regarding. Archangel Metatron, help me. Visualize and help my cosmic eye to be so open that I can immediately visualize. I'm just speaking it on your behalf. You use your own words, you'll be that much happier that you said it in your own way. It'll be received because you chose to use your own words and trust that. Trust and faith, absolute essences that just help these wings over here help you take what you need to take and what you deserve and literally changing, washing away, clearing, as says the words here, clear your vibes, what does not serve you, the absolute and useless, vulgar, you can say, negative things. 
whatever form it takes in your life right now. However, that irritation and worry keeps on bothering you again and again. Don't analyze it, just see it, face it, recognize it, and change it. It does not work for you, be it habit, be it deeper than that, be it responsibility, be it fear about the future, about abundance, about health. Again, just that's fine. Recognize it as a realm of life that requires your attention. Because here you're already expressing your gratitude and changing things around. Why? Because you're accepting, you're receptive, you're open, you're asking, and your faith. Of course it's open and active. That's why you're asking in this manner, in this grateful manner. You're trusting it. This is with full trust. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Of course he will come forward for you. And so will all the forces of light and all the forms of light and how you can use all these beautiful patterns if you find unique ways to express and use the orbs of light for clearing or the wings or the holy robe or the rays as they're flowing down. Go ahead. Ground yourself if you need to for something. Clear something that needs to be cleared. Patterns that do not work for you anymore. Absolutely use it to full effect creatively in your own unique fashion. That will actually be enjoyed more in a way. And you'll find it as enjoying. It's not so bookish and it doesn't seem like it's something that you have to remember and speak back to a professor or something in an exam. There's no exam here. The only exam is to let go of fear. So these are angel prayers coming to you from Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb flow of light here comes to you as a blessing through the artwork of Lily Moses. Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. And this is Tina signing off for now. And thank you for giving me the chance to clear my vibes by sharing this with you and having this beautiful family of light every day. Bye-bye.